Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Music Money's podcast. But we're live a bit early today, doing some live recording with a very, very special guest. So this will be an episode of Feature Friday, but um, we'll still be live later tonight with the podcast in the usual schedule. Early day. Let's get it, King Mark. I hope you're well. Welcome, 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 my friend. Yeah, so this will just be a quick segment. Um, Feature Friday, as you know, is our one-on-one segment with artists um, and creatives where we sit down with them and we have a short conversation where we dive into their um, lore, if you will, as a creative, um, their roots, some thoughts on recent events, their future plans, things like that. Sort of a one-on-one interview segment. So this week, we are here live with Music Monday staff designer, Aster. So, let's slide on over and see what Aster is up to. So, Aster, my friend, welcome to Feature Friday and the Music Monday's podcast. I hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. So, glad to be here. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, um, you are um quite the name in the Music Monday's community, but um, for those who don't know you, feel free to introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about where you're from and how old you are. Um, uh, so I'm from Germany. I've done graphic design for quite a while now. Um, quite a while, um, like a few years. But um, I always had fun doing like graphic stuff and thinking of... Um, Thinking of designing ways to uh, thinking of designing things and yeah, that's always been my passion. Right, right. So you've been working with us for quite a while. Um, we've put out quite a few projects in case you missed it monthly. You've just been designing some really, really insane shit with us. But when did you actually first start designing and when did you take designing seriously? Um... That's a hard question. Um, I I've always done things by myself. Um, so when I started designing, th- this has to be uh, pretty early. Um, mm-hmm. but I started doing this more professionally. Uh, uh, this year or last year, um, Music Mondays has been a part of um me taking this uh more serious definitely awesome awesome yeah no like your growth since the start has been really really insane yeah so you're uh quite the active creator in your space um now when it comes to designs and and um your career as a whole where do you see yourself in a couple years with your designs and and what are your ultimate goals behind graphic design in the underground um so where do i see myself in a few years i definitely want to study uh, something in that direction graphic design or something right um and um i'll try to like um make connections uh in the in the years i have before i uh, start to definitely so finish my um finish studying and i hope i can uh stay independent after that and make enough money um by uh, being an independent artist right right we love that no absolutely yeah so that's why um you're so valued in our community because you're right in line with everything that not only music mondays but the real underground community really represents so it's really really good to hear that and um i definitely think you have a bright bright future ahead of you um so before we get started on the big elephant in the room i do have one more question when did you first get exposed to underground music and who are some of your favorite underground artists that really introduced you to the scene? Um, 
that's a that's a tough question. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a good one for sure. <laughs> I I think, um, I think it was a uh, large heretic who introduced me to uh, um to uh, Music Mondays. I I've been a big fan of uh, Only Ink and um um through Only Ink I started to get to know um, other artists uh, in the scene like uh, Lodge Heretic who uh, I think is a friend of Oni yep, and yep. Um, and yeah he uh, retweeted uh, some of Music Monday's um, tweets and actually uh, that's what made me more interested in Music Monday's um, and I think I, I once tweeted um I wanted to be a part of um part of something at um like a collective yeah and you uh, you uh, reply to that tweet um by saying that uh, I could be a part of music Mondays probably um so I think that's the way I started to yeah. Absolutely. Mondays. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's like such a great, great explanation because you're so not only like fresh in the scene, but you've just taken everything on with such pride and in, in you're so like involved in the community from Heretic to Oni and shouts out uh, like everybody you mentioned because um those are some really like crucial people to the scene. So I'm glad you found like some stuff you enjoy and and shit that you can actually like resonate with so that's awesome that's awesome absolutely so we did a little background on aster but let's talk about the big elephant in the room and a topic that um has stirred a bit of controversy recently ai art otherwise known as artificial intelligence let's talk about it what are your feelings aster lay it on me um so a while ago um there uh, had been an app who um which created um ai art and um it's become pretty popular i think um Germany at least um it's on uh, top one uh, it's the top one app in the in the play store and um yeah, and it started to bother me because um, um, it's basically using um, art that has previously uh, existed to generate new art, if you if you can say art, um, because so it basically steals art and makes new art out of it, and that's right, and it bothers me. Um yeah that's that's basically um yeah, that's the basics um but yeah no i I completely agree with you to be honest with you um that has definitely you know brought up some questions right um whether it takes away from independent graphic designers and artists whether it's really affecting them. Um, you're definitely not on board with it, but do you think um, it affects independent and underground designers in a negative way? Or what are your thoughts on it really just coming in and, and swooping um, up a lot of people's, you know, artwork? Um, so, um, I've definitely been... Um... I had a more a negative way of uh, thinking of AI art uh, a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, it is kind of getting more positive um, because um, yeah, I think if someone thinks of buying art um, at this point um isn't quite sure whether to buy art or generate AI art. Um, he eventually uh, just generate the um, art, um, which definitely um, has an impact on artists. Right, right. Um, but 
I think there's a huge amount of people who will buy art uh, from artists. And yeah, but I think there's a small amount of people who uh, will rather generate AI art. And I mean, it will not have a big impact yet, but I think if AI art um, gets better over time, um, it will have a bigger impact because um, I, I've tried using one of these apps uh, lately, and mm -hmm. they are they are okay, but they are, they are not perfect yet. Same same for music generation or like every De kind of generating. Definitely. And I, um. So, but I think in the future there, uh, this might be a bigger problem for uh, artists. Yeah. That's an interesting take. That's a very, very interesting take. Yeah, so your concern is more so about the future of everything and, and um, if it more so continues to improve and, and gets better and things like that. Um, do you feel that, if, you know, people's art will become obsolete? I mean, personally, I, I, I can't ever see that happening, right? Because we could really program um, artificial intelligence to be, like, really, really particular and specific and really insane but at the end of the day like like sometimes art resonates with people because it speaks to them emotionally and i think the thing that ai art whether it be music design graphics anything like that i feel like it lacks a lot of emotion um you can almost tell it's manufactured do you sort of agree with that take um Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. I I definitely know what you mean. Um, I think that um, if it stays on the generating level, like AI generating something, then it will never be um, it will never be the same. But um, if the whole AI thing is um getting getting better. So like whole that basically um whole person or I, I don't know how to how to say this but um AI I gets to the point where it can assimilate someone someone's life like um Yeah. So that the AI is really something that's thinking. <laughs> um yeah no i i totally totally understand where you're going absolutely then it might be able to um to create something that's uh, very similar to um what a real human a uh, human would have created because um this piece of AI or this AI human uh, would have might be able to um, have emotions. I I don't know how right. um, long it would take to to do this. Um, it's it's quite a it's a future thing definitely. But um, um, there are people working on this and um technology and technology um has uh, improved uh, very fast uh in the past so i i think this will be this will be an issue um in a few decades mm -hmm. yeah i mean i i think that's a really good take right um because if technology has come that far um it's only a matter of time until it starts progressing right um but the thing with that is like do you think that there's a possibility that real artists can find a way to differentiate and like separate themselves from ai art do you think that there's a way that we can single out ai art and, and really um not prohibit it but really give it its own space and not compare it to you know pure genuine art do you think that we could seclude it? 
Um, I think, especially when it comes to um, abstract art um, and stuff like that, uh, um, this will always um, separate from AI art, but um, like mainstream art, uh, that's what I call it, um, will be easy to copy by an AI mm. because um, a lot of people, so sites that a lot of people are doing, uh, that's what I mean. This will be pretty easy to copy because um, the AI you know, steals the images and the more images are to steal, um, the more realistic uh, it will get. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah, no. Um, I definitely see your concern. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we had this open conversation for sure. I, I definitely think this is an important topic and, um, I'm not like a super intricate graphic designer, but I have been in the scene for a while and graphic designers and artists in general, digital artists, real artists, doesn't matter what kind of art you make, um, are very important to the scene. And, um, I definitely think this is something that we need to keep on the table for conversation, right? I do think that this is a topic that needs to be continuously brought up because i do think that that is a slight concern right um and if we don't pay attention to it early enough i think that um you know it could have some somewhat of a bland kind of negative effect um yeah that's very very interesting so with all that said um are you taking any steps uh to really combat that sort of progression do you plan on really almost protesting that kind of art or are you gonna sort of just let it live in its own space or you know do you have any plans to really um you know slow that down um i think the best way to um slow that down is to um like keep your own art style or if you haven't really an old art style create one um because that's that's uh like something that has been uh that's even without the ai um you uh, stand out with an own art style and yeah um yeah so create an own art style or um i i think um I'm definitely fine with my art, but um, it's pretty similar to um, a lot of artists that are out there. So definitely want to um, give this like my own touch. Right, right. Yeah. No, I think that's a great tip. I think that is a really great tip right there. Um, yeah, just become unique, become organic, try to always push your ceilings. Um, I think it's a great tip. Absolutely. So, um, wow. Let's talk about future designers, designers that are just starting out. Um, any other designers that may be concerned with that? What would you say to people that are concerned about it? And what are you doing as a designer to keep yourself mentally um, prepared? Because uh, you just mentioned that, you know, you're keeping on your organic, unique style and staying original. But what would you say to a new artist out there that's worried about it? Um, so, um, you shouldn't worry too much about this. Um, it's, it is kind of scary if you really think about it, but, um, best way to, um, to, like, just, don't give it too much too much attention yeah um that's that's like the uh, most important thing i can say um you have you have to uh you have to talk about it that's not what i mean but um really at this 
into your mind um but think more p in a positive way definitely definitely i think that's a great way to look at it absolutely um i would say the same thing absolutely just uh don't pay it too much mind but like we said you know it, it's definitely an open conversation and i'm definitely happy to keep speaking on this for sure um i think this was a great insight and i think this will be a really good insight for the community um do you have any more thoughts on AIR, and do you have any more topics you'd like to bring up about the subject? Um, yeah, actually, yes. Sure, um, sure. Lay it on me. So, um, the positive thing about AI art is, um, I lately tried this. Uh, I, uh, used my own art, and I, um, Give it to the AI, uh, so it can create something out of out of the art. Yeah. Um. And actually, uh, kind of improved the art, so that I could see, um, where I might could add some details, and um, I forgot something that would have been cool. So um. Can be a good tool for artists to uh, improve their art. Um, yeah, I love that. I love that. I think that's a very positive aspect of that. I'm I'm actually really glad you you totally brought that up, uh, because it's not all bad, right? Um, this doesn't have to be a whole negative Nancy kind of talk, because I do think that there is definitely a little bit of a little bit of a good side to it because you could use it to improve like you said you know you're like oh that would be sick or oh i could use that for my next design you know so there is somewhat of a good influence there i completely agree that's awesome yeah, definitely um i i uh i wouldn't compare ai art to um like yes there's some uh in the music uh scene there something called a uh, vocaloid i think which is um, yeah yeah definitely um, which is narrated music i think um yeah basically you're just using your voice to play notes yeah yep you pretty much hit the nail on the head so i i wouldn't really really say ai art is even at that step at the moment but um if you use it uh, to improve your own art, it's more like could compare to a uh, bullet tune or something like that, which um which can improve uh, something. That's that's what I want to say. Yeah, no, um, definitely. Wow, that's a really great insight. I love that take. See, that's awesome. That's awesome. That that definitely makes me smile. That's awesome. All right. Um. Wow. So that was really insightful. I definitely think that we need to actively have this conversation. I would love to continue this as this sort of fascination either grows or dies down. You know what I mean? Um, I'd like to see where it's at in like a year, you know, um, but we'll see. Um, I know in the Music Mondays community and in the underground community, um, the majority of people, yeah, they might like enjoy it or something, but um, most genuine artists know that it's always better to support, uh, your underground independent artists. So that's what we do around here. And we always will put you guys first and everybody else in the design community first. Um, absolutely. Without a doubt. Yep, definitely. So, um, before we log off and before we say our goodbyes, do you have any last words, any shout outs, any people you want to, um, thank anything like that? Anything you want to speak on art wise? Art wise, um, uh, uh thank you people. I, I would actually, uh, I always wanted to, uh, thank, uh, Bloodcat. Shout out Bloodcat. Shout out Bloodcat. Let's get it. The floor is yours. Continue. Um, because um we talked about this um at the beginning um and how I started to uh, see art more uh professional. Um actually I think it was Bloodcat who um 
gave me the idea of charging more money for my for my art and really try to make money out of this and maybe even uh, uh, get an independent artist later. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, big shout out Bloodcat. Holy moly. Awesome. Wow, anybody else you'd like to show some love to? Um yeah, just just some friends of mine. Uh they're called uh, Tom, Lisa, Lucas and Mats. Um thank you for being there for me. Shouts out the homies, man. Aster needs you guys. Aster loves you guys. Let's get it, baby. Shouts out the friends, man. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, um, where can the people find you? Drop your socials. Where are you located at? Where can people commission you? What's your Twitter? Tell us the lowdown. Um, so my uh, Instagram way you can commission me is um, art dot um, k i r a i I think um, yep, and Akirai. And on uh, Twitter, you can find me under um, A E S T X R underscore. Yeah. Awesome. Love that. Yeah. So for those of you watching live, um, those will be in the description of the YouTube re upload if you're ever interested in contacting Aster. Um, this was a pleasure. This was a pleasure. And I can promise you we'll be doing this again for sure. Um, this is a really, really great segment. And I think um, now we'll be able to continue to have this conversation with people. So huge, huge shout out to Aster for coming on Feature Fridays. Huge shout out to anybody that came through, showed love. Make sure you show Aster some love. Follow Aster at A-E-S-T-X-R underscore on Twitter. Um, yeah, huge shout out to you guys and huge shout out to Aster for coming on and having this talk with us. Alrighty, my friend. Uh I'm going to go close everything out, and then um, we'll be right back at you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and we are here. I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, little Feature Friday segment. That was definitely really, really important to do, especially for Aster and especially for um, just the community in general. Um, I wanted to give Aster that platform to be able to really speak on that, and that'll be something that we really uh, expand on. Expect uh, Aster to come on a lot more. Expect um, a lot more segments about that, you know? Um, I was really happy to do that. Love Aster. Huge shout out to Aster, man. So expect that on YouTube on Friday if you missed it. Um, of course, if you watch the VOD, that's fine too. But uh, it'll be available on uh, Friday on the channel. Huge shout out to Aster. Thank you so much for coming on for the conversation. And huge shout out to Mark for tuning in on this early, early Ass Music Monday stream. So um, anybody else that lurked and chilled, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll be live in about... Uh, almost three hours for the Music Mondays podcast. So everybody sit tight. It's a special episode tonight. I might take a shot. Who knows? It's 100 episodes. We'll see how it goes. I love you guys. Take care. We'll see you in a couple of hours.